Good evening. Good, good afternoon. Evening. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning, depending where you're watching this. We're watching it from the comfort of our own um, ancestral hovel. We, we, we're not watching it just it was we're doing, doing it we're, we're doing, doing it God, I forgot doing it. yes um, and we get too carried away I get too carried away we finished before we started look at what we have for you today viewer if you're there yes that's God. right God knows how you get these things a Bolivar Reserver yeah the viewer is in for a treat today that's like a Charizard in Pokemon to me for the youngsters so for understand. the younger for the younger <laughs> for the younger viewer well I mean there is only one viewer after all. do you think that's big enough it's a small, it's a, it's it's the uh, small knife for a large yeah. and strong. But this one isn't mechanically propelled. No, it's not. It's uh, it's 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 manually operated. Yeah. Um, anyway, you've also got a. a, a, a oh, a, oh oh oh! There's far too much to do here. Look at that, there, look look. all work. Wow! Look at that. Hold that. Will so you, so you what? Could... So this was. So this was. This is the newest of the reservers. Yeah. So it's Cosecas 2016. So harvested. The tobacco is harvested. Could 2016. Could we have a close up here? Couldn't be better. So the reservers have three years of age on the tobacco um, prior to rolling, uh, whilst the grand reservers have five. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. So these are these are Beni Kosofinos, aren't they? They are. So and shorter, once again, you have some beautiful packaging here. Shorter number twos. And uh, very, very attractive box. They really have gone to town with making these They've things put very well. They've a protective well. cling film on them as well. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Very important. Sorry, I was just... Um, do you want to say a word about our shirts while we're here? This, uh, keeping, us, keeping us cool. Keeping the, us cool in the summer heat. Yes, so the, the desert-like heat. I, I would liken it to okay. that of the Sahara. Well, um, I mean, the Sahara on a cold, overcast day, maybe. Yeah. But anyway, Freddie Fawkes, the cameraman, who is um, also wearing also wearing um, Emma Willis today with his own junk top acquired cufflinks. I Max, have you're wearing your Emma Willis cufflinks. silk shirt with which cufflinks are those? No idea. Oh, those are ones I bought in Bud and gave to you. That's what they and are. And these are some Aldo Chipulo cufflinks from 1974 from Cartier in New York. Um, anyway, uh, Chipulo, my favourite. I used yeah. to play out with his children. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe yes. Uh, anyway. The Bolivar. Now, I know that. Oh, look at that! Look Show at that! Look the, at uh, that! Look viewer. at that! The viewer, the viewer, the viewer will just be absolutely entranced by the sight of these. Wow! Look at that. God, I once described a Bolivar Royal Corona. Is it? Coronas Gigantes. Coronas Gigantes as the biggest weapon of mass destruction to come out of Cuba crisis. since the uh, Cuban Missile Crisis. These, they are quite punchy cigars, the Bolivar. Well, we were trying to put off actually doing this broadcast. Yeah, no, no, no. Because I, you, I, you, you, I'll you need had a to, nap after you, it. You, so. you had to took your bed for two hours before this broadcast to prepare yourself. To prepare and myself, yeah. I had a workout. Even Freddie had a workout, and he thought he was just filming it. Do you want to... Um, let's Luckily, your... I'm not doing anything after this, so... Uh... Well, I'm not operating heavy machinery, that's <laughs> for sure. <laughs> so we're, we're looking at a 52 ring gauge. Uh, it's not dissimilar in size to the Monte Cristo number two, it's a bit shorter. Perfumed, same, perfumed. Same. That could just be your perfume. It could be my fragrance. Um, uh, where's my fragrance from? Oh, Today. the Isfacan by Ormond Jane, I think, if I'm correct in remembering. Mm. Um, now, what do you think? It is. Don't it you think it's perfumed? It? I suppose you could say it is perfumed. It's got a. I mean, obviously, it smells of tobacco, but. Tell me the, the reserve. I remember I went to the, gosh, at the whatever the building commercialisation or something like that. About, um, gosh, must be 2004. I went or five, um, where they were just. It was armed guards, and they had the special tobacco which they make these with. Not these particular cigars, but the reservers and grand reservers in general. Okay. The idea was, I think it was the 1999-2000 harvest, they first started putting tobacco aside to, um, to age it before putting it in cigars. Now, normally, cigars have, cigar tobacco has about a year, doesn't it? Around so, about that, yes. I mean, usually a lot less. Well, um, they like to get it out to the market quickly. Yeah, which is why the Cohebra is nicer, because it sort of ferments a bit longer, doesn't it? In, in, the, in the famous barrels. Mm. Yeah. Where's the reserver? Yeah. Well, it smells 
smells like a nap. Well, I, I know we were very. I was almost contemplating coming with a coming with my coronavirus mask because they're such strong cigars. Yeah, all I all I wanted was a little Hoyo doom there or something, and you forced this, forced this reserver upon me. I forced this reserver, which people would probably sell an organ for. Mm-hmm. I think you're instant, you're instantly hit, hit with the the gaminess of Bolivar. Uh, it's got quite a I think you think quite a gamey. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! It's a uh, hit. It's a hit. That's actually slightly worrying at your age. I thought I might have to call the doctor. Well, I mean, <laughs> at my age, it's never bad. I did have a doctor on hand at any time. We should have a defibrillator really at home for moments like that. We should. But you know what I mean? It's got that kind of iron, irony kind of metallic, yeah. uh, mineral strength. Yeah. Well, yeah. And they're deceiving, I don't know, they're, they're deceivingly strong, because I, I often find the flavour quite, not subdued, but rich to a degree, and then suddenly you, you, you can't stand up. Uh, but what do you have that? sometimes with Bolivar? And I mean, it's, it's interesting, because I was in Cuba this year for the festival where this was launched, at the most extraordinary party where they had a woman on a balloon about, yeah. floating through the air doing somersaults while giving it to the chief of Habanos oh, yeah, on the balcony. Yeah, there's a lot of, of flavour in this, actually, yeah. But, you know what I mean? Sometimes the Bolivar can be a bit of a steamroller. It just sort of, um, it just goes at you like a panzer division. And I think this one is going to be one of those. After me saying the flavor is slightly subdued, I was instantly hit with this kind of full on. Uh, I, haven't I, mean, got, I haven't got that, I haven't got that. I mean, the Bolivar, I mean, Bolivar himself was, uh, Simon Bolivar, the great liberator of South America, was, uh, was a fairly strong character anyway. He was, was like he Venezuelan. A, well, I, I, I did actually, I, I can't remember all the dates. I printed out an article I once wrote about it. Well, in like, you know, a few years he liberated Peru and wherever else, Ecuador or something. Mm -hmm. He's great. The liberator, hence the Libertador, which was the Casa de Lebano. Mm -hmm. Bolivar edition, a, a huge cigar. Oh. A cigar gentleman would come in in the morning, uh, just after we've opened the shop, and have it with his coffee across the road at Franco's. Yeah. It took him about two hours to smoke. There was also a merchant bank in the city when they could smoke in their offices. I think it might have been Hambro's, where they would start with a Bolivar Coronis Gigantis at the beginning of the working day, and the oh. top floor was sort of suffused with this smoke. It's a way to get things going. Okay, now. I suppose this is a this was this was a speech I gave at the Cuban <laughs> Embassy on the occasion of the hundredth anniversary of the Bolivar brand in uh, I think that would have been two thousand and two, um, and I said here I suppose that Bolivar, the man, has achieved a certain mythical status as the man who threw off the yoke of imperial Spain. His record's impressive. In eighteen twenty one, he liberated his na native Venezuela. A year later, he made it a hat trick, bringing freedom to Colombia and Ecuador. Deservedly, he took 1823 off, but 1824 back on form, liberating Peru, adding Upper Peru, which is now called Bolivia, to his scorecard in 1825. Now, so that's, that's, that's not bad at all, is it? Two years' work. And you get, you know... And you get, you get a cigar named after you. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, given that this chap... And the country. Well, well, I don't know whether I'd have a, prefer to have a cigar or a country named after me. Well, that's why he got both. He couldn't decide. Well, a uh, sensible guy, sensible yeah. guy. But what do you, I mean, Bolivar I try to avoid because they frighten me, frankly. Yeah, but I was, I was just thinking about this earlier. Um, to, the, to the Americans, this is nothing. They, they prefer, you know, Patron, those Nicaraguan full-bodied smokes. Um, this is child's play. This is an Epicure number two in comparison. Epicure number two reserve, perhaps, yeah. the one we found. Yeah, it's very, very, very little. Found three yeah. or four boxes exactly. of it. But this, but this to it to it to the to the more uh, experienced not, palate, shall we say? No, no, no. To the to the uh, I don't know. It's slightly more subdued, the subdued English-speaking nation. Uh, this is quite a powerful cigar. I find it so, but I find it also tinged with a certain sweetness. Oh yeah, you kind of get. I often mention this zest, don't I? But this fruitiness. Well, the fruitiness I quite along like. with the the uh, what did I say? Gaminess. The inness. The All inus, of the innuses. The innuses. I, <laughs> I have to say, and I don't know about you, viewer, um, if you're still there, um, but Bolivar, full of surprises. 
I there were the Bolivar. What are the Bolivar house reserves? Um, those are Corona's Gigantes. Corona's Gigantes. Those are very light. Those are from Exquisite, 99. Exquisite, very light cigar, mm, 99. Mm. What's the one in the tubes? Is that the Corona's Gigantes again, Churchill size? I think it's that also that again, yeah. I had some old tubes of those, again, exquisite, delightful. These to come with a red top, I think, those those tubes. Obviously yes, indicating change yes. danger, but... Um, that's, that's old, those are the silver tubes with the red top. Yeah, silver tubes with the red top. And the green Bolivar, or is that, was that up? No. Let us say it's Bolivar. It's Bolivar. Our viewer won't uh, won't want to contradict us because our viewer is of a of a benign disposition. Um, I'm I'm just thinking though that I had a, I had so those are beautiful cigars, elegant, exquisite, and though the age has mellowed but not depleted them, if you know what I mean. Mm. And then in Cuba this year, I had a brand new. I mean, it tasted nice and fresh, big fat Bolivar of some sort. God knows wasn't one of these non-Cuban ring gauges, but it was well over 50 ring gauge. And I thought, well, I mean, that's all I had that was sort of small at that time. What, the Bell, was that the Belgravia? No, it, it wasn't, wasn't. it was a Cuban one I picked up there. And I thought, well, this is gonna, I'm gonna have to take to my bed after this one. Smoked it right down to the band, absolutely delicious. It smoked like a kind of cross between a Cohiba and a Romeo. It's a new release or it's a... Well, I think it was probably, I mean, I don't know, either they got the band wrong or somebody had really been sort of putting some, you know, yeah. refinement into the into the blend. Or well, they've they've just got the blend wrong in that specific example. <laughs> well, it was delicious. Yeah, so, there we go. So they did. So, the, yeah. <laughs> so my my uh, my feelings about Bolivar. I mean, this is why I suggest because I would have not normed this would have just sat in the humidor this box until probably after my departure from this uh, mortal earth, and you would have been lumbered with them. But as it is. I, I think it's rather good. I don't think it. I, I'm actually quite enjoying it. I mean, but I'm smoking it carefully because I'm worried that you know all of a sudden it'll kick in and I'll, I'll need to have a lie down. Um, the well, last time I smoked one was the Coronas Gigantes, the aged one. And then I said I didn't need them. I mean, I could go out and I, I ran a marathon after that. Yes, um, yes. This one. Maybe only a half marathon. Yes, or like a 5K, as I believe the uh, running enthusiasts 5K. call it. You know what I was going to say? Is uh, what you can do when this is released is, because Emma Willis is next door to Davidoff, pop into Emma Willis, buy a shirt. To celebrate. To celebrate. Yeah, well, no, buy this first, and then pop in to buy a shirt to celebrate. And, yeah. Nice touch there. Good for the sponsor. You, you see what I did? Ah, I like, I saw what you did. I almost didn't notice it had you not prefaced it with, no. uh, with, but I mean. I had to explain what I was doing afterwards. Very, very subtle. Yeah, very, very subtle. subtle. I mean, if you were, were you not amused and amazed by the subtlety with which Maximilian just slipped in that mention of our, of our cherished sponsor for this particular broadcast? Now we might leave you for a bit, have a little lie down while we complete the rest of the cigar and we'll come back in a couple of minutes. Thank We're you. Off. Oh, look, wake, wake up, wake up, wake uh, up. Uh, uh, what was going, what was going God, on? God, did that, that knock oh, you out? Oh, how, how long's it been? How long's it been? Days. Rip Van Winkle. Bloody hell, still it's not going. It's now 2021, COVID has well, been solved. My cigar just... smoked itself as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll move that out of the yeah, way. The viewer, the viewer, God. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. I mean, that is, I mean, I feel, Oof. I feel quite Someone's drained going, already. Going Ooh, but the ash looks oh, bloody hell. There we go. Yeah. Should we um, should we tap the ash off, or should we see if we can keep it on some more, and then it'll fall all over our clothes? Uh, I think the, the first is the correct. Yeah, I think so. Look at that. Look at that. It was quite difficult to ash. It still has some strength to it. Look at that. The pyramid. The little steeple of ash there. The little steeple. The steeple indicating the presence of the ligero leaf, slower burning, more flavour. Mm. So what were you saying? You were saying yeah. the, the ball over on the particles that rolled in the same. Factory is that something I like? Is something like that in your book? And Quite you were possible. saying you were saying that the Bolivar is stronger not because of the ligero that it has in it, but the more the same amount of ligero, just more seco and velado than the particas. I apparently. think so, apparently. But that would account also for the fact that you get this more of this steamroller effect because you don't get the, the 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 high notes that you get from the ligero because the ligero I I think is strong, but also it gives you that kind of what I call tang a bit, you know. The tang, the zest. The zest, the zest that you call. I mean, I got certainly more liveliness than I would normally get off a Bolivar, but it's, a, it's, it's not 
I mean, neither of us is that. I mean, I'm I'm the original seven stone weakling, except at, the, at my age I weigh a bit more. But I have the I'm puny, and I have an older man's constitution. Yes. And you're a younger man. Where are you in, going with this? In the you're in the you're in the prime of your life. You're a vigorous, young, healthy mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. But we've both been able to oh, look at the commun look at our communist vase. Just could change our completely. <laughs> so it didn't lead anywhere. That's where it was leading. It led nowhere. It led to the communist vase. No, we are. Where were we? Wait, I can't uh, remember. Where mm -hmm. were we? What's going on? I, neither of us has sort of been completely polaxed by this cigar, have we? No, true. And yeah, that's very true. Have you have you tasted any uh, finely granulated earth or the coarser variety? Happily not, coarse, happily, coarse, not, coarse, happily coarse. not, happily not, happily not, coarser. No, happily I haven't tasted any granulated earth, of no, course. No, I've got, I've got, I've got, pepper. You know, mm, pepper a, now. I've got a bit on the tip of the tongue, a bit of pepper. But it's a remarkably well-behaved cigar, I find. Mm. And I can not, imagine if you smoke it too um, vigorously, vigorously, you will uh, succumb to the, to the power. Look at that steeple of ash viewer. Maybe you hold that in, in the direction of the uh, camera. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. What we got, what we got, what we got? Pink gin, pink gin. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, pink gin. Where's my creme de menthe or my pink gin? What's the, where, where did the creme de menthe, oh, that was what I that used to have what, in the old days. Boris used to drink, didn't he? No, no, I used to drink that. Drink it for uh, Happy days, happy days. Yeah. Um, what have the best reservers and grand reservers been? So the best were well, the first, the recognizers, you know, uh, a the legendary Kaliba. cigar is the Partagas D4. The Partagas Series D number four reserver, for my money, mm. is the best ever reserver and Grand Reserver. When was that, 2004 or something like well, that? Well, all I remember is that I went into the shop at the Nacional Hotel in Havana, which is a bit like going to a cigar shop, should such a thing have existed on Oxford Street, mm. i.e. not the most recondite of um, establishments in which to purchase cigars. Yes. Found a box there. They were absolutely outstanding. Partica seems to lend itself because the Partica's Lusitania Grand Reserva was um, exceptional. With all the aging, it actually becomes quite an approachable, enjoyable cigar, I think. Yes, and I mean, what is interesting about aging the individual tobaccos before they are rolled, because these are rolled with tobaccos that are a minimum of three years old, and the ones in the Grand Reserva are a minimum of five years old. Yeah, yes, correct. And what that does is it's not like a cigar that is rolled fresh and then laid down to age. You have all the old tobacco there already. So I've described it as being a bit like the director's cut of a movie. In effect, the blender mm. and should really be able to capture the very best of mm. the essence of that brand using, the, I think, some of the best raw material there is in the world. Yes, and, and, and also the fact that the tobacco is aged prior to rolling means that the cigar isn't necessarily necessarily lighter than it would have been if it were uh, no. just released. The, the añejados, the cigars are rolled and then aged, definitely uh, seem to me to be a bit lighter. They age, I mean, they, yeah. they behave differently. And I mean, this is- the tobacco is in, it's, it's, it's in such- It's in close contact yeah. with other tobaccos, so you yeah. get a more, but this is, this, is, this is a different experience, but it's, I have to say, again, the Bolivar joking aside about our Preparations, mental, physical, and um, years of activity, and um, building up of the body, and eating mm. of roast oxen, and pulling of tires, and lifting of double-decker buses. I've been working towards this moment since I was born. You t I remember you telling me as soon as as soon as I was born. One of the first things you can remember was. You, 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 you said, I remember you said you Buster. Saying, you said Buster because my name was Buster. Do you remember originally. I was going to call you Buster at one point? You said Buster. You're going to have to smoke, smoke this this Bolivar during one of the Fouts and Sons episodes. It's actually. Not a, not, it's not a knockout cigar in terms no. of delivering a sort of blow to the back of the head with a cough. Mm. It's, it's a nice, properly made, stronger Havana cigar. Not the strongest. Pretty strong though. Pretty strong though. Yeah. I mean, and you're saying Mr. Cohiba, the other world famous reserve, Grand Reserve, was the Siglo, Siglo 6. Which somehow nobody ever told me about that until it finished. It's very, very expensive. How much is it? I don't know. Too much. They're probably not on display. Do they have any at Davidoff? Uh, 
if you ask for them politely, probably, and if you have enough money. But there was also the the, the Monte Cristo number no. four reserva, which was just a bunch of rubbish, apparently. I didn't that think came too, soon, I didn't think too much of yeah, that. Came soon after the party gets D four. Yeah, think. there are some ones that really don't lend themselves. There to... was a, the selection. The first ever reservas was the Sequiba selection. It was pack. like it was like a multi pack. Yeah, no one liked that either, did they? No, although I had one relatively recently, and it sort of turned out quite well. But at the time, I thought this was deeply unimpressive. Well, I mean, I'm sure it can be good now. It's, it's 20 years old. 20 years old, yeah. 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 I so. mean, that was made with the tobacco from the 1999-2000 harvest. And yeah. I mean, it is a great cigar, but at the time, you're quite right. Yeah, I don't think anyone really thought much of it. I think we're approaching our self-imposed limits of 15 minutes around I think we've that. exceeded our, okay. our limit by quite comfortably. Well, that's good. See, I, I, I've lost track of time. I don't know what's going on. I know, on. I know this is testimony once again to the don't powerful nature of the fine well, tobacco. Yeah. It's great. Couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. Well, we're fighting the virus one, one corona, corona at a time. time. And we're very grateful, viewer, that you have uh, deigned once more to um, fritter away your time watching us um, fall about in a state of uh, cigar intoxication. Thank you and goodbye. Muchas gracias.